Coach, obviously a pretty successful week, uh, two 4 nil wins. How nice was it for you today to see that early lead, you know, two goals in like 10 plus minutes? Yeah, we, we did really, really well today. Uh, probably without question, the best performance of the season. I think overall, we've been disappointed after last Sunday um, and we kind of pressed the reset button this week. Uh, had a few chance meetings and kind of got back on track. And It's been a really good week of training, great week of preparation. Um, credit to the players, they've absolutely crushed it in both games this week. Two professional performances where uh, dominated the ball, uh, scored some really good goals, some great individual performances. So couldn't be more pleased. Um, that's the type of performances this week that will allow us to go on and could potentially do something special this year. You know you've got a bunch of players that are dangerous at the offensive end, and Kenneth's really done a great job over the last few weeks. But today you got a couple different kids, you know, Maya and, and Lacey, both, like I said, within the first 10 plus minutes, gave you a 2 0 lead. You know, how nice is it, not not just for the team, but for their confidence to, to see them finish some of those chances rather than just coming close? And you know, four different goal scorers today, it kind of shows your, your depth. Yeah, that, that's huge. I mean, it's something we've talked about at training, but Ken has been that good this season that teams are now having to double team her to stop her from playing, which. Uh, fortunately for the players, that allows them maybe a little bit more freedom as well. But credit to the players that stepped up today to score their goals. You know, Kenna has been really big for us this season. Um, she is going to attract a lot of attention. So it was great to see Lacey step up. Lacey was excellent against Akron this week and was close to getting that first goal. But great first goal for her today. Great for Coley to get the goal. Maya has been good all season, but she's really starting to come on now as well. So nice to see her scoring goals too at this stage of the season. And then, you know, at the other end, you made a, a change a, a couple weeks back, and uh, Isabel Gilmore is kind of playing in a different spot. Um, just, you know, talk about her play. We don't we don't talk about her a ton, but she's just been very steady. And just in, in that back line now, obviously, two clean sheets this week. She's a big part of that. Yeah, she, she's been nothing short of amazing the last two weeks since she's gone back there. Uh, we've asked her to play a slightly different position from where she normally plays, but we've got a lot of depth in the midfield with a lot of experience. So... Being able to move her back there has been that way because of the experience we've got in midfield. So she's just taken to it really well. She looked fantastic today. Every game she's getting a little bit better. Uh, but she was unreal today. I thought she was excellent in the performance. She's got good speed, good technical ability to allow us to build. So that's been really helpful in solidifying our back four. And then last thing from me, you know, second game in a row that every field player who could get in did get in. How gratifying is it for you not only to get those kids some time but also get them in there and, and see no drop off? Yeah, it, it's really good and I don't think people understand this in, in sports but the hardest thing, probably the most emotionally charged conversation is playing time. And parents want to come and see their, their players, their kids play and the last thing, the hardest thing for us is picking a team. It's, it sucks as a coach to not give players playing time. So um, it was really nice to get players in the last two games and get experience and get the reps and, keep sharp and things like that. They work so hard in training that it's the reward to get them some, some game time and not every game this season we've been able to do that. So it's great. Speaks volumes for the starting 11 that have been able to kill these games off and, and open up the door for players to get those opportunities as well.